Hey folks, this is Matt once again. I know it's been a few days since uh, I'm currently doing these Nightmare on Elm Street reviews, but don't worry. Uh, that'll be coming in a few days. I've just been busy with stuff. <clears throat> uh, but I had to talk about a film that I saw recently. Gravity. Saw in 3D. And Gravity film starring Sandra Bullock, George Clooney, directed by the same guy who did Children of Men. And I can say, without a doubt, this is my favorite film of the year so far. So much so, I'm not even going to say much about the film. I'm not going to give spoilers. If you don't like the film, that's fine. I've said that countless times. If you don't like a film that I like, or vice versa, it's fine. All I ask is be treated with respect, and I try to do the same. If you act like an asshole, I won't call you on it. But um, I was really surprised by this film. I see it in 3D. If you have IMAX, see this in IMAX. If you have 3D, see it in 3D. If you, I'm not the biggest 3D guy, but it was worth seeing this in 3D. It really was. Sat right in the front, not the front row, but one of the, near the front. <laughs> and I had a great time. The film is only an hour and 30 some minutes. I thought it was intense. Beautiful, beautiful to look at. If this film does not win some Oscars, at least for special effects, then the Oscars are really, truly full of shit. Sandra Bullock was great. George Clooney was great. I like both of them. The film is beautiful, beautiful, beautiful to look at. You tell the money's on the screen. This is how you use special effects. The store is beautiful. Um, seeing in 3D, I thought the 3D worked well for me. It worked very well for me. Uh, the last good 3D film I saw was Dread 3D. And I thought that 3D was used well. I thought the 3D here was used very well. Uh, it's like the first 20 minutes of the film seems to be like one shot and one take and the way that's done is amazing to me uh, it's a great sur survival story uh, it made me feel something it was again beautiful to look at its usage of sound sometimes uh, you know, because in space a lot of times sound is muffled uh, again the look of the film the look of the earth and just how things happen are very well done when the action happens, I didn't notice uh, it, it was really fluid and it was really uh, just intense, very intense. Uh, the It makes me want to go back and see this film again in 3D, wishing that there was an IMAX around here. Will it work well on home? Not sure. Actually, I think it will for me. I say not sure for everyone else, but for me it will because I really, you know, it's a very simple story, but a very straightforward story. But I thought the acting work, I thought the, the shots are beautiful. There are times where you see from a person's point of view, not found footage, but from a person's point of view, which I kept, you know, I keep saying that'd be cool to see more of. And that's used very well in certain sequences. Um, stuff that, you know, Sandra, Sandra Bullock goes in order to survive. Uh, Nice little emotion stuff too. I thought be, again, beautiful store. I it's kind of me weird me being vague because usually I'm very uh, spoiler oriented. But spoiler orient, I can't even talk. It is. It was. I don't want to push this up to the stratosphere that people are like really. And again, if people don't like it, that's fine. We just agree to disagree. I just. I was so impressed by Gravity. I was so glad to see this in 3D. Uh, Mike, OCP, my friend Efri. Uh, I know he's going to see Carrie, but I would urge him to see this in 3D. I know he's not a big 3D guy, but I, I think this really works. See it in you know, one of the front rows. It's a great experience in the theater. Uh, Mario and uh, Michael Keane and so many... Uh, I was really impressed with this film. It is again, it is my favorite film of the year. This is a film that I look forward to because I like the idea. Uh, very simple idea, but I like the idea. But I just was really impressed with this film. I was really, uh, when the action happened, I was like, 
man, this is intense. The 3D worked well. The camera work was beautiful. The score fit like a glove. The visuals are insanely, again, beautiful. And now I'm repeating myself. So I know this is probably one of the shortest reviews I've ever done. But, again, I don't really want to spoil stuff. I really don't. I mean, see it for yourself. Experience it for yourself. See it in 3D. I think the 3D is worth it. I'm not really a fan of 3D, but Dread 3D was worth it. This is a, definitely a different film than that one, but I thought the 3D worked well. And if I wish we had an IMAX, but if you have an IMAX, see it in an IMAX. You'd get a great experience in the theater and a damn good film. And again, I think I'll still enjoy this film. In fact, not even think I will enjoy this film. It almost makes me want to get a Blu-ray 3D player. I have a Blu-ray player, but a Blu-ray 3D player just to... I just, I just really love this film. I really loved it. And really recommend it. But that's just my opinion. But, uh, yeah, either way, thanks for watching this very short review. Uh, the next videos will be on the Elm Street films at the end, but I just had to talk about this because I really, really loved it. Really got a kick out of it. So thanks for watching. Take care. And uh, I want to thank Gravity for making me have faith in movies again. That's really what it is. This gave me a little bit more faith in movies. If movies were like Gravity, then <clears throat> I'd probably be a happier guy. But, you know, what called the world of cinema, how do you want to call it, I just was really blown away. And maybe when the film comes out on Blu-ray or something like that, I would do a more in-depth review. But, yeah, I, I, <laughs> I really loved it. I really did. But anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. And we'll see you later.